The dandelions are blooming, so we know it's time to plant our potatoes. Many people plant by the phases of the moon, and we just had a full moon last week, so that means that now the moon is waning, which is the best time to plant your root crops from now until May 22nd when there's a new moon. After that, the moon is getting larger or waxing, and then it will be time to plant above ground crops until the full moon again. Yeah. Potatoes are a great survival food to be growing in your victory garden. Um, they plant them, if you have a spot that gets at least six hours of sun, um, they like slightly acid soil, like a five to a 6.8 pH. Don't put any manure or lime or ashes where you're going to plant your potatoes uh, because that will prevent scab if you, lime will make them be scabby, which makes them look terrible, but you can still eat them. Um, potatoes are not grown from seed. They are grown from chunks of potato. Um, so if you, you can even plant the potatoes that have sprouted in your kitchen. Um, if, you're, if it's a big potato, you can cut it in half so that you've got a sprout on each end because this is where your plant is going to grow from. If they are smaller, like about golf ball size or smaller, you just plant the whole potato. Um, if you cut them, you need to let them dry for a day or two before you plant them so that they can um, dry and that way they're not going to rot when you put them in the ground. So you can plant the potatoes that you have in your kitchen that have sprouted, but there is an advantage to buying seed potatoes because they are certified to be disease free. You're not sure about that from um, potatoes that you buy at the store. And you also can get certain varieties. You'll know what variety of potato you're planting. And there are a lot of really interesting varieties out there. You can get blue potatoes. You can get the fingerlings that are really delicious. You can get a potato that's going to keep well in storage for you all winter long. These ones we're planting are a red potato, I think. I don't know what they are. <laughs> They're called Chieftain, anyway. And we really like these. Um, so, you can plant them by digging a trench about six to eight inches deep, or um, we just plant individual holes that are about a foot apart in the beds, staggered it so we could fit more in. And you're going to plant your potato um, with the eyes up, cut side down, about six to eight inches deep. And cover it with with about three inches of soil. Easy to do. Just drop them in, cover them with some soil. And as the tops grow, then we're going to push more soil in until eventually when the plant is tall, we're going to try and just keep hilling up around the sides of the plant, um, which makes them have more potatoes because all along the stem of the plant, more little stolons are going to come out from the side and they will have more potatoes. Plus it helps to keep your potatoes from turning green, which um, makes them poisonous actually. You shouldn't be eating green potatoes. You need to keep them well watered, especially once they start flowering, because that's, that's an indication that they're actually starting to form potatoes. Um, so they need to have one to two inches of water a week, sort of steadily. If, they, if you let them get really dry and then they have a lot of water, that's when they will crack and sometimes the whole center of the potato will be hollow and it's called hollow heart and they're really not great without the center. Um, so when the tops die down then you, uh, it's getting to be time to harvest. When the plants get yellow and start to die down that's when you want to stop watering them um, so that the, the outside can start to toughen up going to let them stay. Even once the tops have browned and died back, don't dig them yet unless you really you know, want the potatoes. Um, let them stay for another two to three weeks so that this can harden and um, form a protective skin. And then you can dig them and then you still need to cure them in a place, a cool dry place, out of the sun for um, a week or so so that they, the dirt can dry just brush the dirt off. Don't ever wash them if you're planning on keeping them because um, it makes them not store as well. And 
You can also plant your potatoes in containers. If you don't have a spot, but you still want some spuds, you can plant in a big container like a grow bag or um, some of these large tubs. Same thing, put about four inches of soil in the bottom, Put plant your potatoes in here, like I would put maybe three potatoes in there, um, and cover them with the three to four inches of soil. And as the green grows, still keep putting more soil in around the plant. Um, or you could even, in a container like this, you could use straw if you wanted to. We have tried growing with straw in the ground before and it just makes it easier for the voles to come and eat all your potatoes. So, so we don't recommend using straw if you're planting in the ground. Other than that, I think that's it for potatoes. Keep your sunny side up because better days are coming.